I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review, and this is another one for Lucas Green uh, for a film called Jack the Giant Slayer. This is a pay request. Thank you so much for that. Now, Jack the, Sly Jack the Giant Slayer, I really was not interested in watching. Number one is directed by Brian Singer, which that guy's a bit of a suspect, so to speak, on sick, sick things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up online. I'm like, great, this guy might be a pedophile. Now I'm going to review one of his movies. Plus, I think Brian Singer is an overrated director. The usual suspects, I think that worked because of the script and the actors, not so much the direction. X-Men 1 and 2 I like, but they're not in my top 50 favorite superhero movies. Uh... I mean, maybe X-Men 2 in the bottom 50, but still. I like X-Men 2. The first one is okay. But his later X-Men films, I couldn't give a rat's ass about. This film, kind of a toss-up. Superman Returns, yeah. I like, but it does have his issues, to be fair. But I like it. This one... After some really, really, really bad CGI where this kid is read this story about giants and this is effects that don't seem fucking finished. I mean, I've seen, I've seen animation on YouTube look better than this shit. I don't know what they were going for with this beginning CGI horrible effects that I didn't, they don't seem fucking finished. So then the guy grows up and it's Nicholas Holt, the guy who played Hank McCoy and X-Men first class of bullshit. He's bringing a horse to market. He's supposed to sell some stuff. This monk stole something. Says, hey, can I have your horse? I'll buy it. Uh, I only have these beans. I don't want to take those. Hey, these beans have the power to change the world as we know it. And no matter what you do, don't get them wet. I mean, what the fuck are they? Fucking Mogwai? But no. He he looks down, then the fucking monk, he's a fast motherfucker, because he stole the horse right off <laughs> from under him. He comes back, of course, his, it's not even his dad, but Uncle Keeper, whatever the hell you want to call it, complete asshole, treats him like shit, treats our lead character like he was a dumpster fire. I was waiting for that uncle, where the fuck, I was waiting for him to just come up and with Sally it doesn't. And then one night, this lady who he saw earlier was a princess he helped without knowing she was a princess until too late. She's running away because Ed Shane, who's the teen, wants her to marry, even though she doesn't want to marry. She wants to marry for love, not because she has to, as she's supposed to marry, marry Stanley Tucci's character. 
Stanley Tucci is our human bad guy. One thing leads to another. Beans get wet. Huge fucking wine. The wine. Huge fucking vine takes the house all the way up to the sky. The princess goes along with it. So our lead farm boy. Ewan McGregor who. He's pretty fun in this. I wish he was the lead honestly. Stanley Tucci a few others. They go off on the beanstalk and they journey up the beanstalk to the land up above where of course there are giants in order to save the princess and blah 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 now I don't know if I could say I hated the film because sometimes there was a decent sense of adventure even McGregor was fun in his role like I said I wish he was the lead because he brought some fun personality to the proceedings I like Stanley Tucci. He worked fine as the villain. One note villain, but villain nonetheless. The lead guy... I was, wasn't was big on the lead guy. Whether he could have got a different actor or just the way the character was written. Really, just really not much to him. Especially for a movie called Jack the Giant Slayer. I'm like, this is the Giant Slayer? Eh, not really. And there's just such an overabundance of CGI that you're, you beg for a little bit of practicality. You beg for it. It's like, man, I wish there was a little bit of practicality going on here. That would be nice. It'd be really nice. But everything just looks like a fucking video game. CGI to the shitstorm of CGI. The Giants, I mean, I don't know how you could fit practicality, but I have to assume you could in some way. Like, build some actual sets of the huge vines so it looks like they're physically climbing up something for good chunks of it. Or, with the Giants, maybe people with practical effects and deal with the... What's the word I'm looking for? They've done it before in other movies where a guy looks a lot bigger than he really is. But it's like the danger and the awe and the spectacle gets taken away when it's just consistent, consistent, consistent CGI. Now, it does attempt to be a little bit violent from time to time. One of Stanley Tucci's guys just grabbed and his head bitten off off screen, but you get the idea. You get the idea of people being eaten, but you get nothing graphic or anything. Ewan McGregor almost just turned to a pig in a blanket, literally. Because there's literal pigs for the pigs in a blanket, since they're giants, and they're ready to kill Ewan McGregor's character that way. So that was kind of interesting. You never thought you see Obi Wan Kenobi get turned to almost a fucking pig in a blanket. But I mean, even when you get to the finale, when things happen, they get down, the giants come down because something about a crown. If you have the crown, you control the giants and they're attacking the castle. For the most part, it's either they have oil around and burns the lead one, but he's not really dead, and the others are trying to pull the drawbridge down to get in. The lead asshole giant grabs Jack, he drops a bean down his throat, and some vines come out of it. I mean, at times you get a little bit of that adventure quality of a farm boy saving the princess, and... You don't get that stuff nowadays to be considered too anti-women. Because why are women just princesses? Blah, 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 blah. Bullshit. Uh, the look, the design of the the giants. Maybe think of the trolls and the troll hunter. I, I don't know, all that CGI, it just doesn't leave much impact. It doesn't leave much memorable qualities into my brain with the look of the giants it just 
another CG clusterfuck. So, the lead guy had his moments of being okay, but at the same time, I would prefer plot Ewan McGregor's character into that lead. I think it would have been much better. I really do. <laughs> and then have Liam Neeson play the Ewan McGregor role. Or have Liam Neeson play the lead and Ewan McGregor play the same role. Doesn't Why does it have to be a young farm boy? Because that's Jack. Well, from what I understand, this doesn't follow Jack the Giant Slayer verbatim anyway, story-wise. From what I understand, there was no beanstalk in Jack the Giant Slayer. So they were combining multiple stories into one. Is that okay? Fine. If you're willing to do that, then Jack can be anybody. Doesn't have to be a young farm boy. So again, I wouldn't say the plot really did anything that unique or original. The CGI is just all a bunch of cluster. The lead... Sometimes he seemed a bit bland. Ian McShane, nice to see him. And Stanley Tucci, nice to see him. But their characters are kind of one note. But the actor's doing the best that they can. I can't really think of anything to score musical-wise. I'm kind of watching. I'm going... Bunch of CGI stuff. It can't be too violent. So you can't go too far. Other moments happen. For a giant slayer, he kills like three giants. That's about it. One he stabs in the back. One, with the help of Ian McGregor, they put this beehive and the giant gets flustered and falls off the cliff. And then the third is at the very end, like I mentioned, drops the seed in, vines come out. But I don't know, I just... Maybe I have to say, maybe I'm just sick of movies like this where it's just one goddamn video game cutscene. I just lose a lot of interest. No, that's not to say there are, there's always exceptions to the rule. That's the thing. There are always, always exceptions to the rule. Always. But when you see enough of this stuff, it just... You kind of sit there and you go... What am I really invested in? Just how can I really be invested in the action when I don't buy it? Because there's nothing tangible there. There's nothing physical there. And then the, it's 2013, see, seven years ago, so the CGI doesn't look that impressive to me. Really doesn't. Really doesn't. And there's also in the midst where you're getting all these other fantasy stuff. You got Alice in Wonderland. You got Snow White and the Huntsman. You got Maleficent. You got all this other shit. So yeah. Go watch Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters with Jeremy Renner instead. At least, which I did review that. At least that brought the gore. And Jeremy Renner, I buy a lot more as a lead than this guy. So, yeah, just go watch Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters. Jot the Giant Slayer. Fucking fuck Brian Singer. That's another thing. Fuck Brian Singer. Don't direct ever again. Later.